Strict to the point. Method number one. Listen or watch a source of a person whose voice you would want to sound a bit like. This can be anyone you think of. But, for example, singers don't work because they use their voice to convey musical notes. So instead, have in mind people like actors, speakers, or politicians who use their voice for a living in a more traditional way to express ideas and feelings and thoughts instead of conveying musical notes. Then, when you have this source of the person you have in mind, start mimicking the phrases it, this person says and the gestures it uses. Why? Because when we were children, we used to learn by copying our parents. So, if we want to become better at speaking, be more articulate, we have to imitate those who already reached our goal. Okay, so method number two, speak. What is the action you get better at when you are an articulate person? You guessed it, you guessed it, speaking. So go in front of a mirror and start doing some talk for to express your ideas, thoughts, or feelings. So you can practice this action in a more effective way or yes, with yourself. Number method number three. Expand your vocabulary. When you want to say something but you can't find the correct, the perfect word to explain that idea or thought, it's the main reason is of The main reason of that is because you don't have enough vocabulary. There's lots of words we don't even know about that can express perfectly how we feel. And also, don't use the same phrase to, to send a message because it, it sounds redundant, it sounds weird. An example of this can be He was happy because or the reason of his happiness was these two phrases tend to explain the same message that is tell the tell why he was happy Okay, method number four, this is related to method number two, go to strangers, no, 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 sorry, I, I over, I overstepped, method number four, practice improvising. I'm not gonna lie to you, this video was kind of prepared, 
because I also want to be more articulate. <clears throat> so, practice improvising because, because you don't have a conversa conversation prepared to talk about something with your friends, for example, or strangers. Because there's not always time to, well, think exactly of what are you going to say. Because you don't even know how your, your friends or the people you're interacting with are going to respond to the message you're sending. And so, let me think if there's another method I can remember. Ah, yes! Method number five. Use pauses. Pauses are a great replacement of the ons or as or the like, like I'm, like, I like, no. Imposters are far better in thinking what you are going to say, like I did just now. Because you see, I'm explaining this for the reason of words are very powerful, even more than the most polished physique. And being articulate is being able to have that power in the palm of your hand. So that's why I'm making this video, because recently I noticed that I'm not the best at speaking or teaching. So that's why I want to learn this thing and teach it to you. So we both learn about this. It's a win-win relation. So I can enhance my videos and make them more entertaining and you can enhance your communication skills. Because communication skills tend to have a combination of speaking and body language. For this video now, we're speaking about being articulate, knowing how to speak, how to talk, how to express your thoughts and ideas effectively. Because you see, most leaders, most well-known leaders of the world, they all have a thing in common. They know exactly and perfectly how to use the power of the words. I'm not a Nazi. I don't think Hitler was a great leader. But you can deny, can't deny me the fact that he is very well known. Hitler talked about this... I'm not a Nazi, remember, I'm not a Nazi. Talked about this Aryan race, Aryan supremacy, German supremacy. That, and the image he wanted to give as the ideal German person was a tall blonde guy with light blue eyes. Instead, oh, and uh, well, and don't forget, a tall young blonde guy with blue eyes and well looking. Instead, Hitler was the whole country. A short, black-haired man with a funny mustache. And you may wonder, how the fuck 
the this funny guy, funny looking guy, managed to reach such a powerful and high position in the high German hierarchy and government. I explained the reason some minutes ago because he was able to use because he was able to be articulate he knew perfectly the power of words and generally all leaders or presidents tend to know how to speak so, if this power can take you so high in life to even become a national leader, why aren't you learning it? Well, this was the video for today. Hope you liked it. Um, I'm on it. I'm on practicing to being articulate. Hope you have a nice night or day and we'll be seeing you again soon. Goodbye.